solutions. You may wonder how to remember these new words that are taught to you. You can learn these new words by first trying to reading it out loud. If a word is taught to you, try to repeat it. Secondly, you can try to memorize it using certain techniques. The first one is flashcards. You can write it and try to remember the word, seeing the definition or maybe tell the definition if the word is asked. And the third one is practice. Try to write down the word, learn the spellings and also use it in your daily conversations. Dissolve. When certain solutes are mixed with solvents to form a solution, we say that the solute has been dissolved in the solvent. For example, adding salt to water. Salt, when added to water and we mix it, it forms a salt solution. That's when we say that the salt is dissolved in the water. Insoluble. Insoluble is just the opposite of dissolve. Insolubility happens when a certain solute cannot be dissolved in the solvent. For example, when oil is poured in a glass of water. Both the substances are separated. They don't get mixed together. Fertilizers. Fertilizers are substances that are given to plants for their healthier growth. They contain certain minerals that are very essential for the plant growth. For example, they contain nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Pesticides. Pesticides are used to get rid of insects which are called pests from the plant because they hinder in the growth of the plant. Reversible. We can separate the dissolved solute from a solution by evaporation. We call this a reversible process because we can get back the dissolved solute from the solution. For instance, when you freeze water to form ice, you can again heat the ice to get back the water. This is called a reversible process. Soluble. Soluble is just like dissolve. It's the opposite of insoluble. When you mix sugar in water, we can say that the sugar is soluble in water because they get incorporated easily. Solute. The solid in the solution is called the solute. Solute is the one that's present in the least amount in the solution. Solution. Solutions will always contain a solute and a solvent. For example, salt plus water gives you a saline water. In this, the salt is the solute, water is the solvent, and the salty water is the solution. Uniform. The particles of the solute move between the solvent particles when they dissolve. The solute particles spread evenly in the solvent. Because of this, you cannot see the solute in a solution after it has dissolved. We say that the solution has a uniform appearance. It is the same throughout. This means that it looks the same throughout. The picture shows how the solute particles spread when they dissolve in water. It's also called a homogeneous mixture. Universal. Water is known as the universal solvent because so many substances dissolve in water. The reason so many substances dissolve in water is because of the high polarity of water molecules. C is a liquid. Liquid is called a solvent. Sugar is a solid, so it's called a solute. 
When you put sugar in your tea and stir it, the sugar seems to disappear. You cannot identify where the sugar is present. That is because the sugar has dissolved in the tea. Solids that can dissolve in a liquid are called soluble solids. Being able to dissolve is a property of solids. This means that the particles of sugar has spread out evenly into the spaces between the particles of the tea. But please remember that not all solids can dissolve. These solids are insoluble. Mixtures are made of particles of different substances mixed together. Dissolving is a type of mixing because when a solid dissolves, it mixes with the liquid. We call the mixture a solution. Did you know that the sea water is another solution? This is because the salt is dissolved in the water to make a solution. Salt is the solute and water is the solvent. Water pollution. Some solutions can be harmful. Some soluble substances can pollute the water. We cannot see these substances because they are dissolved in water. So we don't know that the water is polluted or not. Polluted water can harm plants, animals and also humans. Dissolved chemicals such as acids from factories can pollute water in the lakes and rivers. Farmers put chemical fertilizers in the soil to make their crops grow better. But these fertilizers sometimes wash into the rivers and pollute the water. Pesticides. Many farmers also spray chemicals on their crops to kill the pests like insects. These are called pesticides. They can also pollute the natural water sources when they dissolve in rainwater and get washed into rivers and seas. Insoluble substances in water can cause pollution. Examples include human body waste oil and plastics. Questions. What is dissolving? Can all solids dissolve? How do we know if a solid has dissolved? Name the two parts of a solution. Give an example of each of the two parts. Why is a solution a mixture? Why is water sometimes called a universal solvent? Why can't we sometimes see water pollution? Name two soluble substances that cause water pollution. Name two insoluble substances that cause water pollution. How do you think that the use of pesticide affects the environment? You can try answering all these questions after watching the entire video and please refer the video once again if you cannot answer any one of these questions. Here are the answers for the first four questions. What is dissolving? To become or cause to become incorporated into a liquid so as to form a solution. Can all solids dissolve? No, all solids cannot dissolve. How do we know if a solid has dissolved? There are no traces of solute left in solvent. The solution must be in a uniform appearance or homogeneous mixture. Name the two parts of a solution. Give an example of each of the two parts. Salt is solute and solvent is water. Why is solution a mixture? Dissolving is a type of mixing because when a solid dissolves, it mixes with the liquid. We call this mixture a solution. Why is water sometimes called a universal solvent? 
that is because water can dissolve much more substances than any other liquid found in nature but water cannot dissolve every substance here are the answers for the last four questions why can't we sometimes see the water pollution water sometimes is contaminated by fertilizers or pesticides which cannot be seen with our naked eyes because they get dissolved in the water name two soluble substances that cause water pollution its pesticides and fertilizers name two insoluble substances that can cause water pollution plastic and oil how do you think that the use of pesticides affect environment they kill the important pollinators the best known pollinators are honeybees which fly from flower to flower releasing pollen they disrupt the food chain and essential ecosystems they kill soil and degrade the nutritional content of food they contaminate the water supply and they are also bad for farm workers